Hi, I'm the Lockpicking Cuber, and in this video, I am going to have a go at solving this combi lock puzzle. On the back, it says it's a Siebenstein Spieler combi lock. I don't know, my German's not very good, but does that mean seven stone? I'm not sure. Anyway, the goal is to open the lock. It has a five out of seven difficulty rating. Um, and I guess the idea is that you have this lever and I, I guess that's going to slide upwards and that's going to open the lock, but let's find out. So. Uh, just pick this open. Oh. Well, it's really a beautiful thing. I mean, okay, so this just goes up and does nothing. See. Interesting. So something's holding the shackle in place. I don't know what the idea of this little lever is. It doesn't seem to be attached to anything. It just moves up and down. Okay, and then I guess these are going to rotate in place, or can any of them move? No, oh, I think they're yeah, I think they're actually held in place. I think these are pins that go through into the... Oh, yeah. In fact, here's where they come out on the other side. <laughs> okay. Combination lock. I see. So I'm noticing that as I pull up on this, if you can see that, it's making these um, shapes over on the left-hand side shift. So it's rubbing up against them, and I guess, uh, I see. So if I could turn this in such a way that not much of it stuck out beyond the edge here, like I can do easily with that one, this one, much harder to do. Maybe that's all I need to do, is get them all turned in the right direction so they all sit within the frame. Maybe, but then in that case, <laughs> what is this about? I do not know. Okay, so let's have a think. If I wanted to do anything with this, this one would have to be turned. Oh, but that's interesting, because so would this one. Hmm. And this one can't turn because of that one. This one can't turn because of that one. Is this... Yeah, they're all dependent on each other. Oh, this one, this one can turn freely. Obviously none of these can. So I think, is this right? There's just two of them that can turn freely, that one and that one. Now if I turn, oh, that's interesting. Oh, so maybe this just gets in the way. Maybe that's the point. This is just there to be a blocker. Because while it was down here, I couldn't turn this guy. But now those both turn, as long as this is out of the way. Okay. And then does that mean this guy can turn? And this one can't still. Um, that can turn. Now that means this one can turn. Um, I do both of those, then that one can turn. great sense of where I'm going. <laughs> uh, what about if I have a look up at this end of things? Well, if I turn that like that, then this one can turn, which then frees this one up. Which frees... No, this one is now free. Um, this one is free like so. Okay, I feel like I need a more logical approach here. I could keep doing this, I could keep moving around turning dials to free up other dials, but I don't really have an objective in mind. I mean, even if it is, well, maybe it is simply to get these, yeah, because I mean, it is pretty clear that the shackle is pulling on those guys down there. So. If I can get this one to turn first, that will be the most informative thing, because presumably, 
Yeah, presumably if I can turn that one, the shackle will move up a little bit and then hit this one and so on. So that's what I want to concentrate on. I think that's my goal is to turn this piece. So that stops it, but also this stops it. Um, oh, but maybe, maybe that's just easy now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so does that, does the shackle now move? Oh, it does not move. Oh, okay. I can actually see, I don't know if you can see this. I come in quite close here. Can you see just in there? You can see uh, a kind of a little um, sticking out section on the shackle. I don't know how else to describe it. A little burr that sticks out. And I guess that was getting caught on here. It's not anymore, but the, the thing is there must be more of these burrs that are catching on each of these circles. So I guess I have to get all of these five shapes turned around this one. Okay, so this one I'm going to assume is now done. This one just needs to be back here and sort of seems to mostly be free to do what it likes. This one and this one are the two that are left here. Um, let's see. Okay. Oof. Seems really close. So now I only have one left. Must be just catching on there now. Hmm. So let's have a look. Okay, that. Okay, so in order to turn this one, which is the one that's left, I have to turn this one, which I can be okay about. I can turn this and then I'd be able to turn it back later. I feel confident about that because it has the same curve on both sides and I just want to turn this by 180 degrees. But in order to turn this one, I need to have this one turned. And in order to turn this one, I need this one turned. Um, and that requires this turned. Hmm. Am I going to have to go back? I also need this turned, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, dear. It was starting to feel kind of easy, but <laughs> now I'm realizing, unless I'm just thinking about this all wrong, which may still be true, but if it isn't true, uh, then this is quite difficult. I still don't really understand what this is for. I mean, I assume, like I said earlier, that it just kind of gets in the way. I don't think it can help. Okay. So, let's see. This is now actually causing me trouble. Interesting. But that's... Oh. Uh, yeah. See, now I can't get this beyond that piece. So this piece is kind of fine, doesn't affect anything else, but it stops me moving this up. And that means that it's... Very, and I can't get it all the way down here because of this piece. If I put it there, I can't turn that piece. Hmm. Okay, but I can do... Oh, I can turn that, but now this won't go anywhere. Hmm. Right. I think that means I want to have this clear plastic piece up at the top when I get this all set up. That's going to be there. No, that can't be there. Oh, this is interesting. So you can't end up with this up there, can you? because of these sort of bow tie shapes.
All right, maybe that's enough. Having it above here maybe is enough. Let's see. So I can still do. Can I still do this? No. Okay, so with that there, I can't turn this either way. Um, and if I can't turn that, I can't turn that, which means I can't turn that. I assume that what I'm doing is the right set of things to be doing. It, you know, I, th I think it must be. I don't think anything else makes sense. Yeah, I don't think you're meant to sort of undo these and pull some of them out or anything like that. I will kick myself if that turns out to be the case, but... For now, I think it's a safe assumption that you're supposed to navigate such that these five are all, you know, not over this edge. And this guy is simply here to get in the way. That makes sense. really close now. So I've got, oh no, that one's back to being wrong. Oh no, that's fixable easily. Right? Yeah. yeah, okay. So now I've got four of them, and it's just that one at the bottom, this guy here. <coughs> okay, so to free that guy up, I need to free this guy, which means, oh, I think that's it. Is this it now? This feels like is solved. <laughs> now I think I just need to have everything in exactly the right position so that they're not getting caught on each other. There we go. I've got it open. I think that's as far as it goes, probably. No. Ah, there we go. Hey. So that was a lot of fun. I didn't really have to worry about this aside from a couple of times where it got in the way. I guess that's all it's for. I have no idea what the start state was. So normally with these kinds of puzzles, the goal is, you know, release the shackle and then get the whole thing back to its start state. But I can get, well, let's just make sure I can get the shackle back in at least. I think so. So the interesting thing is that you have these teeth this is the point of it, really. Um, if it just had one down here and then the rest of it was narrower, you could sort of slide it up bit by bit. But because it has uh, a series of teeth like this, you've got to get them all lined up all at the same time. And that also means that you have less kind of tolerance for sneaking past these dials if they're not quite set correctly. And that's true getting it back in again as well. There we go. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe Finishing it off is just sort of scrambling these guys again. I don't know. I suppose I would have the option of finding a photo 
of his starting state, but actually, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I feel like, you know, getting it back from here is already fairly tricky. Um, and this is clearly now pretty well scrambled. So there we go. That was the Siebenstein Spieler Combi Lock. Um, five out of sevens, yeah, seems about right. Took me, what was that, about 20 minutes in total to solve. That was a lot of fun. I, I did at some points feel like I just had no idea where I was going, but, but generally speaking, at least once I worked out the goal of, of having these five dials on the left-hand side be kind of out of the way so the teeth could come past, um, then I knew what I was aiming for. There was a point uh, actually <laughs> towards the end, really, where I was feeling a bit like, you know, it was just going to be impossible. And then suddenly realizing that I had these three set correctly um, meant that it was it was pretty clear that it was going to be doable from there. So, yeah, it was a really good fun puzzle. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's beautiful, as these puzzles always are, uh, in all these different uh, shades of wood with the um, metal pins. I kind of feel like maybe this could have been made of wood <laughs> as well. It looks a little out of place and um, not sure it adds that much to the difficulty of the puzzle. Maybe I just missed the point there. I kind of like the way it looks on the back as well. <coughs> so yeah, I think that's a really nice puzzle. I hope you enjoyed watching me solve it. Um, and if you did, uh, then maybe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, or even tell your friends about it. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.